as uh, some might say bitter or funny depending on how you look at it, sarcastic, aggressive, passive aggressive, controlling, manipulative person who I feel is really close to me. It's probably the closest thing I've ever played to myself. Yep. <laughs> I'm cooking and she's your guest. Well, I say she. I mean, I'm assuming she is technically a female, even if she looks like Ray Winston. No, it's your bit of fuck puppery, John. You answer the door to it. Em is really keen to hang on to John because finding somebody to fall in love with is a lot harder than you think. And actually, it's a jungle out there, particularly the new. And I, the older you get, I think you start to lose confidence that people are going to find you. I, attractive or funny or witty and because when you look in the mirror and you see that you're getting older. I missed you today. Right. Love you. Really? Really. Right. I'm like a puppy. I think some people love, genuinely love a drama in a relationship and a lot of, a lot of couples are fueled by that, that energy of kind of destroying each other on a daily basis. I'm competent with those fucking hands of yours. I mean, have you seen them? Have I seen my hands? They're like tennis rackets in the end of sticks. They're like satellite dishes in the end of fishing rods. They're ridiculous. Okay. Ridiculous. Okay. Anybody who's ever been cheated on or found that their partner has moved on and then their partners came back at the door, I find it really hard not to be on the side of the person who's been wronged. You want your boyfriend's help with the woman you're sleeping with. Because really you're the only person 